this short series of demonstrations I'm going to show you how to use a very powerful tool for summarizing business data in Excel and that is the pivot table. In this first demonstration I'm going to build a simple pivot table. I've got some fairly ordinary business data here with the names, job titles and salaries of the employees of a company that has a number of different offices and departments. First thing I'm going to do is select a cell in the data and then on the insert tab choose pivot table. Excel confirms with me the range of data that I want it to pivot. I note that I can use an external data source that could be a different Excel workbook or a database to get my data from. I've also opted to use a new worksheet on which to place my pivot table. To start the process I'll click the OK button and Excel's inserted a new sheet with an area on it where the pivot table will appear and some tools over at the right hand side here to help me create my pivot table and there are also two new tabs on the ribbon options and design. So between them there are all the different tools that I need to create my pivot table. I'm interested in analyzing the salaries for the various different offices and departments. In the upper part of the control panel here there's a list of the column headings of my data and down at the bottom four areas that represent the different parts of the finished pivot table. The report filter, column labels, row labels and values. I'm going to start by taking the office column and I'm going to drop it into the row labels box. Excel's already started to build the pivot table. It's taken one of each of the items that it's found in the office column and listed them down at the left hand side of the pivot table. They're going to become labels for the rows in my pivot table. Now I'll take the department field and I'll drop that into column labels. Similarly Excel has taken one of each of the items that it found in the departments column and listed them across here where they're going to be labels for the columns of data. It's also placed an area for the grand totals for the rows and the columns. But I haven't got any data calculated yet so I'll take the salary field and drop it into the values box. Excel assumes that I want a sum of salary. In other words it's adding up the salaries for each office and each department and if you point at one of these figures it pops up a label showing you exactly what that value is. Now if I'm not particularly happy with the layout of my pivot table I can just change things down here. So for example I can take department and drop it underneath office. Immediately my pivot table changes, listing each office and underneath the total for each department within that office. I can look at it another way. I can take office and drop it underneath department. So now I have each department and listed alongside that the totals for each office. I haven't used the report filter yet so let's take the office field and drop it into filter. Again the pivot table has changed. It's showing me the total for each department for currently all the offices. If I'm interested in 
an individual office or maybe a group of offices I can open the filter I'll choose select multiple items I remove the tick from where it says all and maybe I'm just interested in the London office OK and those are the totals for the London office if I'm interested in a particular number so I can see for example the production department there has a very high value compared to the other ones and if I want to find out for example why is that I can simply drill down that means double clicking on a number Excel creates a new sheet on which it's entered all the data that it used to create that specific number that I double clicked on I'll go back to sheet 1 again where my pivot table is notice that it's showing me that it's currently filtered for London I can either remove that filter by choosing all or I could choose multiple items That concludes this first part of the demonstration of pivot tables. In the next section, I'll show you how to format your pivot table.